Good afternoon, Flosstube. It's Lori of Mischievous Stitches. I want to welcome everyone to my channel today. I'm glad that you stopped by for a visit. If you're here for the cross stitch, you're in the right place. I have a finish on a new start, a small. I also have update on my focus piece, as well as I'm actively working to finish a small this evening, and I'll show you where I am in the process of that, as well as I have been packing and putting things aside for the retreat next weekend. Getting ahead in the plans because I don't wanna forget anything. So I'm working this weekend and into the week of making sure I get everything together for that. And I'll share you with you some of the things that I'm gonna be taking. So let's get started. So when I left you last weekend, I shared this piece with you, saying that I may take it to the retreat this weekend. Well, it's not gonna make it. I made a start on it Monday. Everything's inside the kit. It has the threads, the perforated paper, the beads, the needle. Everything you need is in the kit with the exception of scissors. So I made a start on this on Monday. I finished it up Friday and let me share it with you. It is not fully finished. I wasn't sure if I had the correct color or a matching color of um, backing fabric. I do have a red, but these are more pinks, not reds. Um, here are on the roses on either side of the skull, and I'm looking to maybe get a blue to cover the back, but I'm, I want to check before I purchase, purchase, them, purchase a piece. I usually use double-sided tape on the back as well as a piece of felt to finish this up, and once I get that, those on there fastened, then I cut it out. So if you've seen my past few videos, I've finished up several of these this year. But they've been Christmas ornaments for my grandchildren. So I did two for last year. No, I um, did one last year for Evie, and then I've done one for each of them for this year. So this one is gonna be for me. Now, someone did leave a comment last weekend that there is adhesive felt that, that you can buy. I've got so much felt, and I already have the double-sided tape. So I do appreciate the information, and I wanted to share it here for any of you that may not have felt on hand and that may be an option for them to look up instead of buying the tape and the felt. Um, but I'm gonna stick with my felt for now. And when I finish this up, I have two other of these kits that I can think of. One of, I do wanna take one with me this coming weekend, but I was also sharing with y'all last weekend that the $1 store here in the US had a Halloween tree and I picked that up and you can see this is the box. It's a dollar and 25 cent. I'm probably gonna um, get a block of wood, paint it black and let that be the base. But this gives you an idea of what it may look like, decorated just as a Halloween tree. It has both orange and black in the limbs instead of the traditional green that's at Christmas. And I thought that these pieces would look really good on this. And I'm gonna have to add other things to fluff it out some, but I'm hoping by next Halloween, when you look and do a video with me, it may be sitting right back here. So this is the first of those pieces. I really love the colors. I'm not, over the past years, I've not really been much of a Halloween stitcher, but I do enjoy the colors, the purples and the bright lime greens and the oranges. I just really love them. And this is the same. So the, the, Raven in this piece was actually done in black thread, but if you look, it's like an electric blue in there as well as purple to outline his feathers. Really gives it a good Halloween look and the beads are black, but they're iridescent as well as the sequins. So it really pulls those purples and those dark blues in there. It's really cute. And other than that, I've put just a few few stitches in this piece this week. And I'm working to make sure this is finished by the end of the year. It's taking longer than I anticipated. I think I've just kind of burned myself out on this piece. But I, this is a start I made in 22 that I don't want to carry into 24. I wanted to finish it this year. And I'm really close. I just need to spend some time and give it some love, but I'll share with you what I have. So here it is. I did iron it this week. A lot of you said, oh, don't worry about the ironing. I just want to see the stitching. But I did make an iron, um, put this under the iron this week, and this is where I'm at. 
So I just made a little bit of progress. I put in some of the reds right in here and I think I brought this peachy color border down. And as you can see, again, if you've not watched previous videos, that this is done in blues and I've changed it to reds and peaches and there's a cream in there as well. As you can see, the cream is in this band here. It's gonna be beautiful when it's done. I love that it's symmetrical. I, I, I do love the colors. Um, and I look forward to getting it done. So my goal this past week was to get it done and get it even with this centerpiece here on the side, and I just didn't do it. So this week I'm gonna continue that goal I'm gonna push. And there's really not, I need to push myself further than that piece because there's not a lot, if you compare it to what you see on this side, here, there's not a lot of stitching. It just, it's these red vines that's kind of, you know, filling an empty space. So there's not a lot. I've got this peach banding here that's gonna come around. So that's gonna take some work because they're four to six, maybe eight stitches wide going around. So I'm gonna keep that goal of at least getting midway and I would like to get a little further, further down on this piece this week. But with that being said, it's October 1st. Instead of doing a video yesterday, I thought I would do it today because all of you that's joining in on the October 31st SAL, the October 30, 31st stitch along for this piece here. You know what? <laughs> I stick it. I stuck it, here it is, I'm sorry. I didn't, I still have not pulled my threads. So this is October 31st. It is by Cottage Garden Samplings. And I'm doing it on the called for piece of fabric. I wish I had pulled those threads for you guys so you could see how the colors play against the fabric. And this is Ancient by Picture This Plus. And I have my Q-snap here wait, waiting as well, as well as little as my needles. I just need to go upstairs and pull my fabric so I can make a start with all of my friends here on Floss Tube that's joining in this evening. I will make an update post on um, Instagram, and I already saw there were a couple people that's already tagged me that they're making, they have made their start or getting ready to make their start today, it's this afternoon as well. So. I'm so happy to have everyone joining in. I hope this is an enjoyable stitch and we can stitch along for the next few months. But um, thanks for joining in. And for those that are interested, and this may be your first time uh, listening in, I'm gonna tell you about the stitch along. So again, this is October 31st. I'm referring to my iPad so that um, I don't miss anything. This is gonna be hosted by Kenzie of Mud Puppy Stitchery, myself, and then um, Barefoot Needle Arts in North Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. And they are offering on their website, which I will link below in the description box, 20% off the purchase of both chart and DMC floss for this. You can go to their website and on their main page, there is a link directly to the supplies for this piece. You can also get fabric. I don't believe that they have this specific fabric asked for, but they can give you ideas if you want to email them or maybe give them a call and let them know you're looking for a piece for this um, to stitch along. They're more than happy to help you. I will list their Instagram, Facebook, and website below in the description box. We will be starting this piece today, but if you can't get around to it today, don't hesitate to start when you can. You don't have to actually start on the first of October to participate, but this was gonna, today is the official start of the stitch along. I was told that there are several that are attending the retreat next weekend that are waiting until the retreat to start this piece. So I wanna make sure that this is packed away in my bag for the retreat so that I can stitch along with all those stitchers. And I look forward to it. I'm so excited about next weekend. And I think that's it. Oh, the promotional code, I need to make sure I say that again. When you go to, to Barefoot Needle Arts webpage and you click on the link to the supplies for this, to get the 20% off, it is October uh, uh, OCT31SAL. That is your promo code. That is also the Instagram hashtag 
for this as well. So hashtag OCT31SAL for Instagram. Now, let's move on. So what am I taking next weekend? <laughs> I'm always so excited. I pack way more than I'm gonna put my little hands on while I'm there because those of you that had attended retreats before or stitches in your local area, we chat with our buddies more than we stitch. We wanna see what they have in their bags, what they're working on. If they visit a shop and do shopping at the retreat, we wanna see what they've bought because we want, might wanna sneak back and get a copy for ourselves. It's just an electricity to be with people that are passionate about stitching like I am. So I'm so excited. So I've pulled a few things. Some I've actually purchased from Barefoot Needle Arts in the past couple of months. Um, some are things I have, but let me share with you. I'm trying to keep them small, so it'll be something if I don't finish it there, I can bring it home and make a finish on it and not carry it into next year. But this one I bought last month and kitted it up at Barefoot Needle Arts, so it's going. I think I shared this in the last video, but this is Hawthorne Hill Sampler. And I only have one thread in this so far. And it's the top left corner. So this is it. And I have all the threads. And I did not use the call for colors. This, call, this color is Laura's Fabric Old and Crusty. And this was what they had on hand at Barefoot Needle Arts. And I like that it was a little, this is more like the color of cocoa. Let me pull those threads. And there are the threads. I think it's gonna be gorgeous. So I gotta take this along with me. So I'm gonna be carrying all this in my Barefoot Needle Arts bag that I purchased earlier this year. So I gotta stuff it. So I'm gonna stuff it right now <laughs> in front of you guys. So I wanna make sure that I take it along with. So I also bought recently We Santa by Heart and Hand Needle Arts. I need to pull the threads for these. I'm gonna pull them at the shop this weekend, but I'm gonna take this along with me. I did uh, one of these l last year and I really enjoyed it. And so I bought this year's and I've kitted one of the previous years up. I'd like to do this series if I can get my little hands on them. So there's this one. And then I pulled this. My first visit to ever to Barefoot Needle Arts, I picked up this piece, and this is Maryland Blue Crab by Chesapeake Bay Treasures, number one. And I changed up the fabric, and I bought a different thread, so I'm gonna share that with you. It's, it's in the, this pouch with it. So I bought a thread key from Barefoot Needle Arts, and I bought one of their fabrics, to stitch this on, and this is Spring Seas Photo. And you can't really see in this video, let me see if I open it up, can you see the blue in that? I think you can, like right in here. And then I chose Bonnie Brook, and this is Cottage Garden Threads. And so I'm gonna be stitching this piece a little darker and on this fabric. My plans when I purchased it was, I've done this once before for a friend, is I'm gonna finish this up as a flat when I'm done. And I'm gonna use my grommet to, you know, it's probably gonna be finished into a square because, the, oh, I had that upside down. The outline is square, so I'll finish it up into a square, but I'll leave enough border when I finish it to put a grommet in the side so I can use one of the rings to attach it to the handles of my Barefoot Needle Arts bag. And that's that's my plan for that one. That's why I purchased it. So I'm gonna put all that back in there because we're gonna be at the beach. So I kinda wanted some things that were beach themed and I have one other. So give me just a second for that one. And I thought it was right here. Well, I'm not sure where I sat. Well, my, oh my. I did have one other piece. <laughs> Let me put these in the bag. This one, the Tiny Modernist, also had a crab. 
and it's colorful and it's just as cute as it can be. And I had it up here earlier so I could pack it and I'm just gonna have to locate. I've got so many things on this table. So let me bypass that. Oh, I found it just that quick, I found it. So we've got, this is um, beautiful beige linen and it's from 123 Stitch, it's 32 count. And I'm gonna pull the threads for this one. Isn't that cute? And this is crab dance. For me, it's all about those colors, just beachy colors, just fun and happy, something that um, can be finished up relatively quickly and would be a, not as, not that it won't have counting, but maybe easier to work on when you're around a group of friends talking and giggling. So I also have a Q-snap. I went ahead and pulled that. So those are ready to go in the bag. And then I went upstairs and I just shared with you this piece. This is Nevermore that I just finished, and I told you I had two others, so I thought I would take those with me. And I'm not sure which one, I love them both. This is Caddo Lantern. To give you an idea, here's, I think they, they're done yearly, so you have different ones. And I don't like scary Halloween. I like kind of happy, Trick or treat, kids kind of Halloween. And so this really makes me happy. And then this is Hoppy Halloween. And this must be a different year. Let me tap this down. Hold on just a second. I want you to be able to see the different ones that they have. Like I said, these are kitted. So you've got all these, there's four others, and there's the one I'm working on now, and I really like this cat pirate as well as the owl, and that may be future stitches. But there's, again, they're all, they're all kitted up, threads, buttons, sequins, needle, and the perforated papers inside. So those are going in my bag. And like I said, I'm not gonna get off to all of those. I know that, <laughs> but I want options. <laughs> One other thing I wanted to share is I purchased something earlier this year at a local retreat, um, just for when I'm stitching these. And this is the first time I've used it and it worked great. I will list this person below. This is Steno Stitches. She has an Instagram as well as an Etsy shop and it's just, I'm gonna call it a thread wallet. I'm not sure what she calls it. But when I opened this up and saw it, I said, this will be perfect for those little kits, whether it's the Mill Hill Christmas ornament kits, but it has little vinyl pockets here. And I actually had 10 threads. One was white, one was black, and in these colors to do Nevermore. So everything I can't, I can't put my, um, my pattern and my perforated paper does not fit because it's just wallet size. But my scissors, my, my needle, I, if you can see, it's right here. My scissors, my needle, my, my beads in the little packet that comes in with, they're all in here. And I really love this. And um, I thought you guys might too, so I'll list her information below. And I'll just put Thread Wallet, because as I said on Etsy, I'm not sure what she calls it um, and how many she may have in stock, but I love this. And I will be using it for the others. What else did I have? Um, two, I sh finished this one. Actually, at the retreat, I attended to pick this up. This was, I can show this here as a pattern because it's a freebie. So this is winter freebie. And this was my finish. I just used a scrap piece of paper. It's an ornament. Of course, I'm gonna use it as a Christmas ornament. And a lot of you guys asked where I got this from and it had come in with an order I made, I don't know how many years ago. Um, and I just threw it to the side in a folder I have for things like this, freebie designs. I can't find it online. I tried to find it. I don't think that this, this is by the Stitcher Hood and I don't think that they're actually um, designing anymore. The website address that's listed was not, in a, was not active. So I thought I'm not going to make copies and pass this, but if someone would like this, just leave a comment below um, that says winter 
Um, again, all the rules apply. If you're uh, under 18, you must have your parents' approval. Do not say giveaway or freebie or anything listed below in the comments. Um, but I will draw a, a name next weekend. Not next, next weekend, let's give it two weeks. Um, but leave the comment on this video and I will pick a winner for, and just pass this on to whoever would like to stitch it. Now, speaking of giveaways, so last weekend, the sun is shining in my skin. Last weekend, I mentioned that I had a kitted up piece. When I say kit, it's pattern and threads, fancy floss and DMC for October 31st for someone who would like to stitch it. I had a total of 102 comments for this piece and I wanna announce the winner of that now. I have not yet left a comment on the person's comment, but will do so shortly after this video is um, done and uploaded. But the winner for this kitted piece is Carol McQueen, and she said, I was born on Cinco de Mayo. I haven't done a birthday start before, but I plan to in 2024. A lot of you were that way. A lot of people had never even heard of doing a birthday start until they started watching Floss Tube. Some like to focus on a specific piece and not begin another till that one's done. Um, and I loved reading all the comments. I didn't comment to many of them, but I did at least give you a heart to let you know that I've read it. And again, Carol McQueen, it, my email address is listed below. If you wanna shoot me an email or reach out to me on Instagram, if I can find you there through, um, through a personal message, I'll be happy to get back in touch with you and get your mailing information. And I will get this out to you as soon as I hear back from you. So I have nothing else to share. Um, I'm just still gonna be actively packing my Barefoot Needle Arts bag. I have Q-snaps and a hoop, and I wanna get a couple of my empty project bags. Can you believe I have empty project bags after that whip video I did, but I do. <laughs> I'm gonna put those in an empty project bag, get those ready so I'm all geared up and ready to go. Oh, I forgot to show you what I was what I was finishing today. I picked this up. The finishing instructions are not in the actual leaflet, but their website, her website is listed, the Heart and Hand Noodle Arts here, how to get to the information to finish this up. So I printed it out. I cut out the templates. I've already put the interfacing on the back to keep it sturdy. I've got my templates cut out, which is again listed at her on her website. And I've, I didn't do the small one yet, but the small one, there's enough room here for me to trace out the small one and cut this out. And those are gonna be my templates. The reason there's two circles is one is beneath the actual finished piece. The second piece of mat board is under that so your piece doesn't shift on top of the hardware bowl. So I've got my thread here, my sewing needle. I just need to cut this out. I need to cut out the, the batting and sew that up. So I'm gonna do that this evening and then later on make a start on the October 1st stitch along. So again, thanks to everyone that's joining me. Um, thanks for watching each weekend. Thanks so much for the comments too. You all are so positive. I very rarely get the negative comments um, predominantly. They're all positive and I thank you for that. But until next time, hugs and stitches and I can't wait to share with you everything about the retreat. I'm so excited. Take care. Bye-bye.